And now at 6, prosecutors have released new evidence in the deadly crash that killed a 22-year-old woman. Police say the driver was drunk when she crashed into a truck, killing her own passenger. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Miami with the story. Peter? Elliot, it happened right here, Northeast 15th Street and Biscayne Boulevard. An attorney for the victim's family called this a horrible case of drinking and driving. Police say the driver was drunk and had been sending dozens of text messages to a boyfriend who she'd been breaking up with. She crashed three minutes after sending the last text. Look closely at the upper part of your screen. Authorities say this new surveillance tape shows a fatal impact as a drunk driver runs a red light and hits a truck. You see a few startled people nearby jumping up after hearing the sounds. Police said the driver was Mila Dago. Her passenger, 22 year old Arena Reynoso of Kendall, did not survive. It's very disturbing to my clients. Dago was driving a rented smart car here on Biscayne Boulevard. She reportedly was going through a bad breakup with a boyfriend. Through the night, authorities say she sent more than 60 text messages to him. Driving drunk, woo, I'll be dead thanks to you, she texted. Later, have a nice life, idiot. I'm tired of having to put you with your short temper and unreasonable attitude. She also said, I'm done. You ruined me. You'll be the death of me. It's upsetting because it highlights how preventable all of this was. Uh, Miss Dago clearly knew she shouldn't have been driving. Dago's boyfriend, identified as DJ, texted back, What are you talking about? You're psycho. Stop, weirdo. If uh, Irena had known about all these texts, that she would have never gone in that vehicle. No trial date has been set for Dago, now 24. She has pleaded not guilty to charges including DUI manslaughter and vehicular homicide. Reynoso, who attended Miami-Dade College, had dreams of becoming a law enforcement officer. She had one sibling. She was a beautiful, beautiful soul. She was a, you know, a free spirit. Attorney Ricardo Martinez Sid has also filed a civil lawsuit against Dago and Car2Go, a vehicle sharing company that Dago rented the smart car from. You can rent at 3 o'clock in the morning without speaking to an attendant, uh, just on a whim. That's something that lends itself, unfortunately, to having folks under the influence pick up these vehicles. Now, that family attorney said that car to go should have safeguards in place to prevent drunk driving. We did reach out to car to go. We were told a spokesperson would get back to us. We're live in Miami. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you. We're following you.